if you can if you can tabulate it like what are the four or five major mistakes you see guys make in relationship these days okay number one mistake that i see most guys make it's not being calm calm you see a man sets the tone of relationship number one you should never this you know, like in an argumentative let's say you guys are talking and then it's getting there's no need to raise your voice you know, for any other reason, do radio. But when you guys are conversing, when you guys are communicating, mm. as the man, if ever I need to show this dominance, this I'm a man, you must respect me. No, that was the mistake that most men make. Mm-hmm. You're not entitled to any respect from any woman. You're not, you don't you don't you don't deserve any respect. You only earn it. That's why you are earning it from that one woman. Most men think ah uh, the, every woman is below them. No, not every man woman is below you. Not every woman is your subordinate. It's the only the, the only woman who is who is supposed to be your neck as the head is a woman who allows you to be her head. Mm. So your wife can wake up one day and decide not to respect you anymore and decide not to listen to you anymore. What do you now do? Then you start fighting or you start shouting or you start, what does that solve? Nothing. So number one mistake that I see men make is not being, not being calm. calm. You need to be calm. If your woman says that you're calm, you set tone for relationship. And in my relationship, since I started practicing this calmness and this stillness. I've never had a woman shout at me. But previously, when we were against you, but you, as a man, you said the tone of relationship. Whenever she shouts at you, for the first few times when she does it, because mm-hmm. she will do it. Mm-hmm. She will do it. It's just normal. She will do it. So mm-hmm. the first few times when she do it, you tell her, I don't like it. Mm-hmm. No matter what, you will see that with time, you train her to be like that. Mm-hmm. She will never raise a voice at you. You never raise a voice at you. You never raise a voice at her. And you guys maintain that that, that standard that calm tone, okay. You understand? So a man should always remain calm. Never ever for any reason try to show uh, that you are stronger, that you are in a bad way, you know, helping out because you are physically stronger. There's no problem. But never raise your shoulder or try to make a woman feel mm-hmm. like if she's below you, like telling her that if, it, if <laughs> women already feel like if they are being suppressed, women feel already feel like if they are weak. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. So you're not coming to show them that uh, you are you are you are better than them in any aspect or you know more than them or you there's no need for that you don't want a woman to be fighting you more 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 so your woman you don't want your woman to fight you you guys are you have a vision for the relationship you want it to lead to marriage or whatever you want it to lead to mm-hmm. you want this relationship to be cordial you want it to be calm you mm-hmm. want it to be you want it to go well so always maintain your cool no matter what if you cannot leave leave the leave where she is you know leave her and go and cool off or whatever but there's no need to shout because it's from that shouting that domestic violence happens and all those kind of things. so there's no need to even start it okay. the vibe of relationship should always be everybody is cool calm and collected that's we talk to one. each other with respect okay that's number one always be calm no matter the situation always show her that you are you are you are in control of yourself you yeah, understand that's story season. number one mm. be calm Okay. Number two mistake I see men make is investing their emotions into relationship hmm. before the woman. Hmm. I'm sorry, women are more emotional. When a woman loves you, you will know she will she will give you her all. Hmm. You just you, see, eh, in if a woman loves you, eh, or not let's just say love, but what women work with first is attraction. Even a man, but you see, female attraction works stronger. If a woman is attracted to you, she always wants to be around you. Okay. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Same with men, but there's, there's a difference in the way a woman loves. When a woman loves, she wants to cater to you. She wants to, she's, she's concerned about you. Mm. You know, a man can love by provision. A man mm. can love by other means. But women love by empathy, nurturing, care. You understand? Yeah. So attraction is the baseline. Then before love comes in. But once a woman's attracted to you, she's already behaving like she's in love with you. Mm. Mm. But a man can be attracted to a woman. Just for the purpose of sleeping with her. Yeah. A woman too fine. But in most cases, that attraction that a woman has, has for you, mm. if a woman can give you attention, she mm. can get married to you. You understand? There's a possibility of a long-term relationship. Even though she just wants sex or she's just she's lusting after you. Mm. A woman's own can start from lust. You understand? A woman's love for you can start from lust. But a man's love can never start from lust. Once a man is lusting after you, he's lusting after you. He gets what he wants. He still vanish. lost him after you. He leaves. But a woman's love, a woman's love can start from lust. She can lost after you. Then you come in and you show her that you're a different kind of man. And then she starts developing stronger feelings. Mm. And then, but for a man, once he looks at a woman and he has analyzed her, this one is no marriage material. She's just for 
max. Yes. Most men are like that. Mm. Most I'm even like that. <laughs> mm. So so investing your emotion, the emotion before the woman. Before the woman, let the woman invest that emotion. Let her let her come. I'm not saying you you be a brick wall. Mm. You are yourself, but this woman has come. Let me give you a scenario where a man invests his emotions first yes. before a woman, mm. because that's what leads to most disappointment. Mm. You see, a man feels ah when I do so much for you, when I show you that I love you so much, you should show me back. Mm. You should instantly or naturally reciprocate. But no, it doesn't work that way. Mm. You understand? It doesn't mm. work that way. Most cases, when a man starts to show his emotions. He starts to do things for the woman. Every day I love you. Every day I want to be with you. Where are you? Mm. Trying to know where she is. Trying to know everything about her. You push her away. Mm. You push her away. Because it seems like if you are, you are strangulating her. Mm. This will only be false if she loves you more than... She or she is attracted to you more than, more than you are you, you, But you don't know. Yes. You understand? But mm. she has not vocalized it. But she actually... Actually, maybe it's for me hard to get. Mm. <laughs> Because that happens in most cases. Mm. I told you before, women take advice from so many people. Once you start talking to a man, they like her friends know. Mm. If, her, if she's close to her mom, her mom no, you know, her, her mother knows. So she's taking advice from these people and say, ah, this way is behaving. They will tell her what to do. And in most cases than not, she will take the advice. You understand? She will mm. take the advice. That's why it's easy for a man to influence his woman. It's just when you don't know how to do it, that's where the problem comes. That's why I say to men, calm. You cannot mm. be shaken. If you if you if you behave like a woman to a woman, women are the ones who naturally lose their cool and you know, cry most times, um, behave behave er erratically. Mm. But a man, you should not. You should be the pillar. You should show her that you're an emotionally stable man mm. because that's the only way a woman can become emotionally attached to you. And if emotional attachment is stronger than love, when a woman is emotionally attached to you, she's to a healthy extent obsessed with you, mm. obsessed with your passions. She's helping you do the things that you're already involved in. You know, your your destiny aligns with hers. Mm. You get whatever mm. you're doing interests her. She wants to learn. Let's say you, you're, you're a videographer. She's interested in, she suddenly develops interest for cameras. And mm. She just wants to help you in whatever way she can. Mm. You know, that's a woman's, that's the way a woman shows you her love. So you only should not invest your own emotion, first of all, before her. Yes, let her invest her emotion. Let her come. That's why me, these days, when I, I meet a woman, I start trying to get to know you. Any brick wall at all, I'm gone. Mm. I don't. If you want to marry a woman who is who is who, when she, once she sees you, she she feels so good. Mm. You understand? That that's the best kind of relationship. I mean, I want the best. I don't want to force any woman to be with me. I don't want to coerce any woman to be with me. I don't want mm. to use anything mm. I have to make to you. Make her be. No, I don't want to 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 entice you with to money or anything. No. no. I want it to come naturally. And if I never find a woman who, you know, comes at me naturally, I'm, I, then I never get married. Mm. And I'm okay with that. Because I want my relationship to be the best. And if it's not the best, I'd rather stay alone. You know, I'd rather stay alone. So, okay. you want a woman who has, invested has relationship. emotions for you. Like, her emotions. emotions. She's not scared of showing you her emotions. She's mm. not scared of... That's the only kind of woman that can be... That's the only woman that can be emotionally um, attached to you. Mm. You understand? Any woman who is not so free emotionally around you, who cannot tell you her, tell you what's going on in her life, who cannot, she who doesn't see you as this one is this is my rock. This is the man I tell everything to. This is the guy who should know it, must know everything about me. There's nothing mm. that goes on in my life mm. without him knowing it. If a mm. woman has not come to that realization when she looks at you, then I'm sorry, bro. You might marry her. You see, a woman can love you and still even give you stress. A woman mm. can love you and still destroy your life. It's very possible. Hmm. You understand? So that's why I say love is not the main thing. Look at the character of you, of this woman. Hmm. Look at what does she what does she have to offer aside this love? Hmm. You understand? What does what she do with her life? What are her passions? What do they align with my own? That's how you pick hmm. a woman. Don't invest your emotions first. Yeah, for her. Let her because she's more emotional naturally. So she should she should come in with her emotion hmm. and then you meet her somewhere along the way. So that's number two. Now number three is accepting disrespect. You see, most men accept disrespect, especially at the beginning of the relationship, because you don't want to spoil things. I've been there before when you meet a new girl and she does something you don't like, but you don't want to spoil the vibe mm. at that initial time by telling her, you know, this thing is uh, not this good. Video, I don't like it. You see, it, 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 why men, I, I think now, uh, I, now that I think about it, I think why men find it hard to, uh, to communicate their displeasures is because they don't know how to communicate their displeasures in a way that 
will not get the woman angry or get her pissed. It's a way to say something and not say it. It's a way to say something. You see, if a woman, like I'm, I'm chatting with you, I just met you, we are talking and vibes going, and then you maybe you say something that's out of line, you know. And I'm not comfortable with this thing. I won't reply you as fast as I'm replying you. You as a human being, you know that ah, something is wrong. Then I'll continue replying you. But I've noticed that when I do that, the woman never does the woman never does that thing again. Or maybe it's just a one-time thing you should overlook. That's why I said empathy. That's what there are times when you just think ah, this thing doesn't matter. Just let it go. You understand? Mm. There's mm. some things that matter mm. that you should call out. Mm. But at the beginning stages, you don't want to express your displeasure because mm. you know you think it'll push your away. But mm. actually, communication displeasure actually makes a woman respect you more. You okay. understand? The more things you find that you cannot, the, 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 the more ways you, you find are correcting that you cannot her on something. Yes. yes, the more ways you find that you cannot misbehave around. The more she aligns the more she around aligns with you. So mm. the more you get what you want, mm. but the more you let her do what she wants to do because mm. you don't want to get her angry. That's why I said she wouldn't even know. So what you have to risk hurting her feelings if you want her to align with the kind of woman that you want her to be. Mm. You understand? So mm. you need to risk, you need to risk hurting her feelings. Mm. You understand? In the long term, she'll be grateful to you for mm. it. Because by then, at least she will know what and what that you don't like, yes. and because and if not, she will just she look just, at you that you, you like just everything. See that, ah, this woman is my kind of woman. She's already behaving like the kind of woman I want. Mm. Because little by little, you have been setting down some some boundaries without really doing it. Mm. You understand? So mm. a man should communicate his displeasure so okay. always. That's number three. Either by removing your attention or by saying it out loud. But at the beginning stages, what I do is just remove my attention for a while. Then mm. I come back to you, and then I have noticed that the woman knows. Women test men all the time. What you allow, you see, a bad woman to this man can be a good woman to another man, mm. depending on how the man is. You True. understand? Mm. And the best way to be to a woman is to always be calm, to always be chill. Let her do what she wants to do. Let her see what she wants to say. Analyze her. You like this woman, analyze. But when you now say that oh, this woman is not the one for me, you move her. You move. You understand? So okay. be strategic in your relationship. Communicate you your displeasure. You just Communicate or display. Whenever you are unhappy with something she has done, communicate it. If she's doing so many things to the point where you find it hard to communicate your, your because you, it now sounds like if you are you are you are, not, you are always nagging and complaining. That's the telltale sign to leave that relationship. Or oh, she keeps repeating the yes. same things over and over. Like again. I tell people, I, I would be okay if my woman was doing something wrong differently every day. Okay. For it to be that same, that same thing, thing that you you're know, talking about it gets me tired. But if you are doing this different, thing, hey, at least that can make the relationship interesting, you know. Where at, but it depends on what mm. you are doing. But mm. there's all these little, little things, you know, <clears throat> maybe little, little things. We all know these things, mm. you know, and it's happening every day, different, different. Ah, no problem, we can go with that. But you are behaving well at the, at, at the core, at the core of you as a woman. Mm. You are, I, I see your essence, and I said, ah, no, 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 you are very valuable to me. And then I also have faults to mm. nobody's perfect. <coughs> yeah. Get. So there are some things you need to compromise and tolerance very important. But there are things that I advise men never to tolerate or compromise on. So that's three now. That's three now. Mm. The fourth mistake I see most men make in relationship is allowing the woman to do what she wants. Is allowing it? the woman to do what she wants. Yeah. Is it different from co communicating your displeasure? Yeah, it is. Okay. When I say allow allowing the woman to do what she wants, there are some men who just they, they don't have any sense of guidance a woman needs guidance from a man you okay. understand? a woman needs your correction she needs that's a woman who is really in love with you mm. she's open but it depends on the way you now communicate it that's why i always that's why i emphasize calm mm. you need to be calm you need if, if because what people take as a family is this talking just um you know but Calm is actually better. You are children and you are observing. You have to be an observer. So, you don't let the woman just do anything that she wants. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's where boundaries come in. Not setting boundaries. I think that that's maybe the better heading for this. Not setting boundaries. You always have to set boundaries because you always try to overstep it. Okay. So, <clears throat> you have to always be aware of a woman's test. And sometimes, a woman might be testing you and you don't even know that she's testing you. The woman is emotional. She wants to see you emotional. So she does some things to see how you react. The woman does that. No matter how good you manage, she might even be a pastor's wife. Mm -hmm. Even a, 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 a choir mistress, mm -hmm. she will still do this thing I'm saying. She will mm -hmm. still test you as a man. Mm -hmm. She will still do some things to see how you react. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you fail those tests, it, it, you, you, you will notice a decline in her respect for you. 
So the, the fifth mistake that I think most men make is not knowing when to leave. Mm. You, know, you need to know where to leave a relationship. Once you have tried your best mm. and it's not working, mm. if you keep on trying, you keep on falling in love with her, you keep on wanting her. The only way to break that cycle is to chill, relax. It's either she goes or she comes back. There's nothing you can do at that point. Mm. The woman is slowly, she's withdrawing, withdrawing her attention from you. Mm. She's no more giving you her time. Oh, let's see. Mm. She's bringing up excuses. This is mm. a woman that can even miss important things just to be with you. Mm. Now you see that ah, she's behaving in a certain kind of way. Mm. Because of she has shown you that good part of her, mm. you feel that this woman can change again. You know, and become once a woman removes her attention and removes her time from you, she has phased out of the relationship. It's impossible for a woman to lose, uh, to, to, to have feelings for a man and not want to see him and not want to give him her time. You understand? So, once a woman has started, let's say over a month, you have noticed a decline in her, in her, um, you know, pull to you. She's mm-hmm. no more giving you attention, she's not giving you time. Mm-hmm. You need to move. If you don't move, you fall more in love with her. If you don't move, she disrespects you more. Mm. You understand? Mm. By staying there, because you get to a point, you're not, ah, let's see now. Let's see now, I'm busy. You call again, let's see now. Ah, but can't you see? Can't, are you not? I, yeah. I'm telling you that I'm not free. You call her again, it moves up. The disrespect keeps it's on going increasing. Up. Your love for her keeps on. Mm. That's a toxic situation. You understand? That's how the drugs which I'm bringing. One person is so down, mm. one person is so up. But if you give her a gap, she may be the one to even call you by her. Like yeah. okay, and the true. truth is that she will always reach out to you. Mm. But by that time, you have built emotional strength. So now, you see, the, 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 when a man leaves a relationship that is not favoring him, mm. despite your love for her, I'm telling you to leave. Mm. Because when you leave, she can come back. But when you leave with that mindset of her, she can come back. As time goes, you lose the urge for her to even come back. Mm. You're now you're now analyzing the situation. I'm, ah, no, no, no. I, I'm I'm actually misbehaving. I'm actually messing up. Why am I doing like this to someone that doesn't want me? Why am I so? Uh, why do I want her so much when she doesn't want me? Mm. And you too. With time, whatever was going on with that girl, you never can even tell. Maybe she might even have some problems or some issues that she's facing that she's facing mm. that she cannot communicate with you, or that she has communicated with you, but you don't know the extent to which that destabilized her and made her lose interest in you. You understand? And the truth is that there are some things that men do as relationship goes as relationship goes on mm. that makes a woman lose interest in you. need to give her space. It has to be always. If you give her that space, you will see that she will be the one running to you. You understand? But if you always want to perturb her, disturb her, mm. you think it's love. Mm. You understand? Mm. I get it. Your emotions are moving you. You want mm. to always be around her. You are actually pushing her away. Mm. And now, the more, the truth is that it, it's not my fault, but the more you communicate with a woman, the higher the chances or the, 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 the higher the likelihood of a misunderstanding. Mm. You understand? Mm. If I don't spend time with my father, it's almost impossible for me to have a misunderstanding with him. You understand? But the lesser the time I spend, the lesser the misunderstanding. If you can do that for a long period of time, let's say one year, or six months where you have been giving her space and you guys are not having so much misunderstanding she would be the one not wanting a misunderstanding to happen hmm. because she now really she doesn't see you as often as much she doesn't know what's going on with you so so much so she's not trying to test you this test i'm talking about mm. is this let me see how i react you know maybe or it might not even be intentional the way she has treated her boyfriend in the past that he accepted she's trying to treat you like that you know, that if you don't stand your ground and you know call her out on those tests, on mm-hmm. those things that she whether subconsciously or consciously, because there are some women who actually consciously do these things, mm-hmm. or there are some women who this it, it, they are doing it, but they don't even know they are doing it. Mm-hmm. So a woman, she's never no woman will say she's a bad person. There's no woman in it, there's no woman in this world that will say she's a bad person. Mm-hmm. You understand? Nobody believes that they are bad. Mm-hmm. You just believe that that's the way I am. Mm. You understand? Mm. If you cannot take me as I am, leave me. That's what most women say. But you need to train your woman. Maybe training is the wrong word, but you need to train her into being the kind of woman that you want her to be. Guide her. You understand? And let her know that this is for her own good and they don't know. This is very true. So you know when to leave a relationship, to avoid disrespect, to increase the chances of her coming back to you. And when she comes back to you, because of that gap, you have built emotional strength. You have not seen that, ah, I can actually stay 
without that and that that is if you ask me today what's the biggest factor why i can let any human go easy mm-hmm. i will see because of i told you the story of that girl who was on my mind for two months you know i knew her house i knew if i wanted to go i never went i was feeling so much pain inside you know why is this girl treating me like, ah, this is a girl that was even ready to if i can ask for anything then i would have given her the way i i, I just found yeah, myself so far. much in love mm-hmm. with her, you know but I saw that no 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 if I keep doing this thing, I will not get the result I want. You understand? You need to think about your actions and the result they can get you in a relationship with mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Then you pass out knowledge that you don't you don't continue trying to no 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 at the point you relax, let her come to you. That's why I say the best scenario is for the woman to bring her emotions in. That kind of woman you can build from there and build it to an emotional attachment. So mm-hmm. be with women who are interested in you. Mm-hmm. You don't meet a woman and you, you try to build her interest and you see that it's not coming up and you keep on trying no you leave it at that hmm. you understand and leaving it at that can actually increase our interest mm-hmm. 